a new amazing video of UFO sighting captured with flare camera in the UK has been recently released. A UAP which appeared to traveling around 106 miles per hour said to have been only visible on a thermal camera and filmed by a police helicopter more precisely in Wales in September 2016. It is very similar to those that have been captured by the US Navy and recorded on the same flare cameras. So what could it be? Section 51 Hi everyone, what's up guys, Does Geek here with Section 51. Thanks again for your support. Before starting, please hit that like button and share this new video right now to keep supporting Section 51. A UFO which appeared to traveling around 106 miles per hour and is said to have been only visible on a thermal camera was filmed by a police helicopter in the UK, near St. Athan in Wales at around 9 p.m. on September the 17th of 2016. The airy footage, which is similar to recent UFO videos captured by the US military, was released by cops after a freedom of information request appears to show the object moving over the Bristol Channel. As you can see in the video, it shows the object moving against the wind as it appears to travel at high speed and is tracked by the police helicopter's flare thermal camera. Snippets of the video filmed off a screen were originally shared by the NPA's team at the time in 2016, the National Police Air Service. But now, the full video of the strange encounter has been revealed following an FOI request by former cop turned UFO investigator Gary Esseltine. And after a protracted battle to get his questions answered, he has called on the UK government to finally come clean on what it knows about UFOs. NPA's Southwest tweeted at the time the object was not detected by local air traffic control and was described as hot as it traveled against the wind, meaning it was unlikely to be a balloon or lantern. It was flying around 1000 feet and was only visible when the cops noticed it on the thermal camera which they were said to be testing by pointing it at planes heading into Cardiff airport. The encounter lasted around 8 minutes and the footage shows the camera changing settings as the cops appear to try to identify the strange phenomena. Cops also said in a tweet in 2019, more than 3 years after they released the short clip, a drone is possible, but they were unable to keep up with it so it would have to have been very fast. Mr. Esseltine tried to obtain the audio recordings from inside the police chopper along with a map of the object's movements, but this information was not provided in the FOI response. This is verified police helicopter flyer footage showing an object not seen with the naked eye, but clearly seen in the infrared spectrum. It is moving against the wind, so it is not a balloon, nor is emitting any heat signature indicating a propulsion system. My FOI requests were largely stonewalled by the police authorities, and I believe there is much more information on this event that has yet to be released. The former cop spent six years working with the Royal Air Force Police, 24 years with the British Transport Police and launched a national database for UFO sightings for cops while he was a serving officer in 2002, before retiring from the force in 2013 to focus on his UFO research. And recently he helped set up ICER, an international coalition from 27 countries calling for full disclosure on UFOs. 
Of course, it comes as the world awaits the release of the hotly anticipated Pentagon UFO report, an unprecedented dossier by US intelligence as the topic steps from the fringe conspiracy theories to a national security debate. Mr. Esseltin also passed the video to retired police officer and former helicopter crew member Simon Conquest, who provided expert analysis of the video. He estimated the object was traveling at around 106 miles per hour and said he believes the object is not a lantern, a bird, a meteor or a known aircraft. The former chopper spotter said he believes the craft appears to be moving under its own power, leading him to conclude it was either an advanced military test craft or potentially a vehicle of alien origin. It is reported the object appeared to be flying close to the Inclay Point B power station, further fueling potential links between nuclear sites and UFOs. I think it is highly likely that other police helicopter crews have recorded similar footage on their flyer cameras. Given that the stigma relating to this subject is being lifted I urge them to be more transparent on this issue. This footage proves that objects similar to what have been captured by the US Navy is being recorded on the same flyer cameras here in the UK. Dismissed as a conspiracy theory for decades, former US defense officials, sitting politicians, and former presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton have all acknowledged there is something unusual going on with UFOs. Now often referred to as UAPs, Unidentified Aerial Phenomena, questions are being asked every day if the objects caught on film are super advanced drones, secret military technology, or perhaps even aliens. US intelligence services officially closed the book on the phenomena in 1969 at the conclusion project Blue Book which stated there was nothing to see regarding UFOs. However, in the last three years, there has been an abrupt turnaround as the Pentagon took the unprecedented step of confirming three stunning UFO videos filmed by the US Navy. And the UFO report, which was commissioned by Congress, is being compiled by the UAP task force and is scheduled to be delivered now on June the 25th, today. So it is only a matter of hours or minutes before having finally access to certain sensitive documents. At least that's what most of us hope for. Whatever emerges from this meeting, it won't be able to prevent that more and more leaked video will continue to emerge. That will help the authorities to always go a little further in public inquiries and the disclosure of classified documents. Of course, all this in the public interest. In reaction to this new leaked video, some mentioned different hypotheses, sometimes wacky. Some people think it may be aliens bringing some more COVID variants on Earth, while others put forward the idea that knowing all these UFO sightings in a short time, there is certainly a risk of a false flag attack or a fake alien invasion, a major event of this kind that would cause trauma to the population in order to create a diversion from the real subjects of economic crisis, political crisis and restriction of freedoms. All these thoughts are very extreme, but we cannot say that none of this is possible today. But apart from all these assumptions, some UFO enthusiasts have quite rightly and immediately pointed out the Pentawerch UFO incident also called the Wales Roswell for those who ignore it. During a cold winter's night in South Wales back on February the 26th, 2016, the same year as today's UFO video, in a scene worthy of an episode of the X-Files, multiple witnesses reported seeing a huge UFO and other lights, along with military planes, helicopters, a chase, explosions, 
shaken buildings, damaged trees and wreckage in Pentawerch. Pentawerch lies on the southern slope of Garth's mountain, known locally as the Garth. The summit is just above the village to the north and is surmounted by a Bronze Age burial mound, on top of which is a trick point at 1,007 feet. The activity was explained by the authorities as an armed forces exercise known as Chameleon. But many still believe it was something out of this world, claiming to have spotted unidentified lights which did not conform to the normal ID of a military aircraft. However, a very intriguing incident which has remained hidden from the public for years. This will certainly be the opportunity to make a video dedicated to this particular incident. Are these two incidents connected? Will the UFO video of September 2016 revive interest in the Pentarch UFO incident in the next months? Will it allow to bring more light about this major event? With the multiplication of testimonies and people who are no longer afraid to speak out about all these incidents all around the world, it will become more and more difficult for the authorities of any country to keep silent about all this. Now, with all these events and revelations that have been happening every day for a year, it's difficult not to think that If nothing big happens this year, I don't know if it ever will. Please let me your comments here below the video if you want to react to this new UFO sighting. Section 51 is on social networks, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We also have a merch shop on Spreadshirt where you can find some really cool stuff about Section 51. Just follow the links. Hit that like button and that bell button too, share the video, subscribe to Section 51, talk about Section 51 around you. This was Dos Geek with Section 51. I'll be back really soon. Open your eyes, watch the sky, live long and prosper.